Prince Hill carry for real. Because we about to be, we already in a war. We just don't know it yet. All rights are being taken away. Now they don't even want motherfuckers to protest anymore. They literally are putting bills so you can't do what? This is not the democracy anymore. Wake up, black people. It's heavy out to put these fucking guns down. It's heavy out to put them down against each other. Fight the fucking real enemy. Fight the real enemy. Prices of gas high as shit. Groceries high as shit. And y'all want to be fighting each other. Well, you can plainly see we all we got. We are all we have. There is nobody else going to stand up for us. Nobody. Like, I don't understand. We need this mayor removed. We need this governor removed. We need a lot of people removed from office. We need the Senate removed. I'm talking about the Senate floor needs to be clean. A clean sweep. Period. House of Representatives. Clean sweep. Nobody is for the American people anymore. They only for their own pocket. And they've been getting greedy and greedy right in front of our faces. And all we do is sit there looking stupid. But then you got people doing all this shit. Like they got the money. But if you got the money, open up a program where you can get government funding for to fund Section 8 housing or something for, for uh, minorities. I mean, because I've been looking at this season like I've never seen problems like this in my life. So y'all got it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just broke. Because y'all must got it. Y'all must got it and say, fuck it. Good for you. Because I don't have it. And I don't understand what's going on with this government. I can't even get my fucking taxes. So I don't understand. But you can give all this money to people who don't belong here. To people who aren't American citizens. To people who don't have a social security number. The fuck is wrong? Oof. I hate America so much. This government offers so much. So much. I've never, in my, all the racism, growing up, listen to my mom and her stories. That didn't even make me hate America per se. But now, it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Are we really in Russia or something? What's going on here? Is this a dictatorship? Because everything we asking our government officials to do, they are not doing. They're saying, fuck you. I'm going to do what I want to do. Supreme Court, fuck you. I'm going to do what I want to do. Texas and Tennessee and all that. What the? What? Hold on. You can't have an abortion. Baby. I'm sweating, I'm hot, I'm mad. I don't usually rent off. <sighs> I go off. But I'm so serious right now. Like, I really didn't expect this. I came down here to fucking verify. <laughs> to verify. <sighs> Fuck this government. Shalom, shalom, Yashua Allah. I want to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakadash, which in the pedigree who be tongue, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to you, sister and brothers that's laboring in this truth, and shalom to you, brothers and sisters that's listening and studying to show yourselves approved. Now, as we just seen that Eve rant, old Eve rant. Which is showing us where we had in prophecy. We're in the beginning of sorrows. Babylon the Great, aka America, is collapsing. And now, with Babylon the Great collapsing and, and the reveal being lifted up, you know, we're in, we in the, uh, the book of Revelations. Now, Eve can see the problem. But I bet you five years ago she didn't see it. Long as them food stamps of Section 8 was going, Eve didn't care. They was out just being as, as wicked as they can be. You know, just ratchet as they want to be. You see her, the, her, her weave hat piercing. She's like an old ratchet. Now that she's like, now that things becoming clear that Esau Edom is your enemy, she's saying it as you go fight the real enemy. Go fight the real enemy. You've been helping the enemy. You know, and at the point, really, it's too late for all of that. 
So we seen a symptom of is she has no comfort. She got her comfort from America. She said, I used to hear my mom and them talk about racism, but it didn't make me hate America. It should have. It should have preached them to start thinking then. But now that the wine is gone, which we're going to open up the scripture, you know, Eve is now hollering that she can't take it no more. I'm like, we just in the beginning phases. And see, she's about to bug out. She's probably going to hurt somebody close to her, uh, the children, because she has no comfort. She don't know what's going on. She thought Esau was good, thought he was going to, you know, save the day. And now she's starting to see the Esau Edom is the devil in the flesh. She's seeing the politics. You know, it's all ran by Esau Edom. It's his system, his kingdom. And they're no good. Now she's seeing the greed of Esau. Because really, Esau really, he's about to run his genocidal campaign, which will kick off Jacob's trouble. Little did she know. And she's trying to, you know, do a rally and cry, but ain't nobody listening to your butt. You just going to bug out. She's bugging out already. And hey, call her long, your house, Bashi, I was shy. You know, I see 144 the right way on the clock. So let's get into the scriptures. And there's a lot of people doing that. Dudes and my job are bugging out. Um, just when I'm doing my day-to-day -day activity and I talk to an Eve or something, they have an attitude. So you can just tell, like, because women are built to be in comfort. Now that Esau's taking away the comfort, you know, they, they're bugging out. And see, us in this truth, that's why you got to feel blessed, Yashrallah. Esau was never our comfort. Never. We ain't got no comfort from Esau. Our comfort comes from Yahweh Bashiawasha, the Rahakadash, you know, which teaches us all things. So we know that this prophecy to play out. We know things are going to get rough. Like, we're ready for this. We've been told this is coming. This ain't hitting us like, oh, my God. Like, we even know why the so-called white man, Esau Edom, acts the way he does. And why we're, you know, all facing all the racism, why we get treated bad, we're Yasharala or Israel, the children of, you know, Yahweh Bashi was shot. So let's get to the scriptures. And I was going to start with them, but I'm going to start with this right here. Right there, because there it go. And this is Isaiah 24 and 11. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. So there's a crime. She was crying for their old ways. She want them old days back. She said gas is high as shit. Food is high as shit. That's inflation. Why? Because the dollar is collapsing. And everybody got to do what they got to do to try, you know, get on by. And she crying for them, you know, the freak nicks and the, the carefree, you know. Probably had a little money when she was coming up. Now she ain't got no money. You see her problem was she broke. You know, a lot of us are broke. Shoot, I, my butt was just broke. You know, not too long ago, you know, you waiting on payday. But, you know, we ain't out here tripping. She is, though, because her joy is darkened. She don't see a future in this place because she's looking for, you know, Esau to turn the corner. And he's not. This place is going to get more and more rapidly worse. It said the mirth, man, which goes into joy, you know, playfulness. The mirth of the land is gone. Ain't nobody really, you know, a lot of people working class, the grinders are not in a good mood. Like I said earlier, y'all, Sherala, I'm on my day to day and, you know, females got an attitude. You don't see no smile. I mean, usually they always like that, but it's worse. You can tell there's a lot of tension in the air. And I know why. A lot of people are barely getting by. You know, you go to fast food, one meal will cost you like 10 bucks by yourself. So if you got children or a family, you know, a lot of people out here are going to struggle. And it's going to get worse. As the mass layoffs continue, AI continues to take jobs from people, you know, we, we can fall back on the comfort of these scriptures. Worldly people don't have no comfort. They're going to bug out at an extreme level. So watch yourself around two-thirds. Let's get another one. Right here, because this right here fit her too. Check it out. It's Lamentations. You know, Lament. You know, uh, whoa, we're going into that period. Lamentations 1 and 17. Zion spread it forth her hands, and there is none to comfort her. That Eve had no comfort, man. You know, she like, y'all giving money to people that don't belong here, not giving me no money, which that's all by design. Eat them with his nose up at the working class people. He, he want to do that because he's really trying to get you to take that MOTB. He, he want her to bug out. 
So then for her to get a little bit of comfort and security, he's going to put a micro CHIP in her body. And she like she already set up for it. She crying. She looking for a solution. And don't even know the Lord is our solution. So it says, the Lord had commanded concerning Jacob, talking about us, that his adversary should be round about him. It said, you be right here with Esau. We, we're all in his system. And it says, Jerusalem is as a mistress woman among them. So we're going through all this pain, all this torment, all this rough stuff because Esau doesn't like us. The Lord said right there that we're like a woman on her period to, to, to Esau. And a woman on her period is very annoying. You know, she don't know how to handle that. You know, she just just off the chain, mouthy, especially Eve on her period. It's just not a person. You, it's not a pleasant person to be around. So that's why Esau Edom hates us as a nation. They're round about us. We're in their system. And you got a lot of Israelites that don't have comfort. Because they don't know where they come from. They don't even know they're Israelites. They still call themselves black African-American. And they don't have, you know, the wisdom not to understand that these scriptures know what's going on. Um, we all, you know, under pressure, you know, struggling to, you know, pay all these outrageous bills because everything's going up. You know, mortgage, rent, car notes, uh, electric bill, gas bill. We all going through it, man. Every brother, you, you know, when you watch these lessons... I let you know we all going through it. But here's the thing, though, especially since I went through these lessons. When I'm having a bad day, I can click on a lesson. And it puts me instantly back in a good mood. Why? Because we have hope. We have faith that your how about your child is coming to restore us. See, she don't know nothing about that. Two thirds don't know nothing about your how about me. Out they know a sweet baby Jesus. And that's failing them because they was told a lie. And prosperity is not coming to them. One person getting prosperity is past the pork chop. And maybe a couple people in this congregation. So she doesn't have any comfort. She ain't got no hope. She like, she look out her window, look hopeless. I look out my window, I'm like, oh yeah, we, we coming back online, baby. Okay. Yeah. This stuff's supposed to happen. This Esau kingdom that's going downhill. Yeah, it's going to be rough, but ours is coming online. And see, that hope right there keeps your sanity. It keeps you in a happy mood. When I'm at work, I be in a happy mood majority of the time. We be having Esau and everybody around me like, man, what the heck is up with this dude? Because they're all like her. In my area, my job, one of my jobs, all them Edomites is in a bad mood. Like, I hear their complaints every single day. They sound like her. One Edomite almost had a breakdown talking to me. And then Jake, you know, Jake breaking down, going crazy. They got bad attitudes. And none of these people in the world have a comfort. But us in this truth, we do. We know you have by shower shot. We know why these things is happening. We ought to be prepared for it. So when we see these things, you know, we're we not going to bug out. Like, we, okay, we know this stuff going to happen in phases. Okay, that's happening. Okay. You know, and say we lose our job, man. We're going to trust on Yahweh by Shah. That right there, that's the whole purpose of these lessons, to edify and to build each other up so that we had that hope and that faith. So when Esau come down with great wrath, because that's what he's doing right now. So they say Eve didn't understand that. She just want to wild out, um, pretty much do something stupid. She might get somebody some judgment because she, she's losing it. She doesn't know all these things are happening in order to free us. So we be in a clean environment, a clean kingdom. And let's see what I got on that right here. And see, I'm going uh, to pull this one up. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 17. This is John 14 and 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. That's her problem. She don't know the truth. Because they see of him not, neither know of him, but ye know him, but he dwelleth with the within you and shall be in you. And that's talking about Yahweh Shah. That's our hope. That's the whole foundation of our hope right there. We know Yahweh Shah is coming back. Lord willing, part of the hope we let Yahweh Shah gonna set us up, protect us, feed us, you know, keep us safe. We have that belief system, we have faith. She ain't got that. The world don't know nothing about Yahweh Shah. You know, and here go the point, verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. 
I will come to you. And he did. He come to us in the form of these scriptures, these breakdowns, these edifying lessons that come to us. He comes to us through the wisdom, not the understanding of Yahweh Bashiach And that right there keeps us sane. They, it builds our strength up so we can carry on through this wicked, diabolical kingdom. And the people in the world, they don't have that. They're going to lose it. And that's what he's going to take advantage of them. He's going to give them that micro CHIP in order to get them a little relief. That's how Esau going to get them comfort. He's going to get them death. He's going to get them something that's going to condemn them to get comfort. Our comfort comes from Yahweh Bashiach was shy. We already know to avoid that. Like we already looking at Esau as the enemy. We already know who he is. We know he's going to get down. We know the major moves he's going to make. And we're just watching for it. See, Eve ain't got that. She just, and the worldly two-third dude, Jake, he ain't got it either. These people about to bug out. Big time. <laughs> and I'm like, you bugging out over this? Oh, man, wait till this devil really, you know, put the squeeze. Pressure from above, pressure from below on the people. And yeah, so you're going to see people unaliving each other, man, just from the pressure of trying to make it in this wicked society. It's going to get bad. It's about to pull the fool back. She said, fool, highs, highs, you know, highs shit. Where did the devil take the fool away? You know, most Jakes don't know about no planting their own food, gardening, but he ain't about to let you do that either. He's going to come shut your garden down. Like, we're going to have to, like, eat solely off the power of your how about me, I was shy. That's why this truth is so vital and important. Now, are you Akim and Akwa from this truth? You know, brothers and sisters in Paleo Hebrew, y'all should see why this truth is, is so important. Now you see the value of it. These lessons. They keep you sane, man. Build you up. Because these people are about to lose it. They about to go crazy. They didn't think Esau was like that. They thought he had their best interests at heart. No, man. He's the devil in the flesh. All he care about is his greed. And now when people need help, they send this devil not going to help, which will start the civil unrest which will lead to civil war. That's next. The people will fight back when the devil don't get them, you know, when the bread and circus shut down, then the people going to fight back. You know, it's going to be much too late. That's when he going to come with his robotic military, you know, and he, he's going to mow them down. He's getting ready for that. That's why the devil doing that. He playing with the people. She know it, but she don't know what to do about it. All she know to do is get on social media and make a rant. To try to give ourselves some, some, some comfort. When really the comfort comes to these scriptures. Especially when you know the breakdowns. You know the proper breakdowns. Like I said, really, when I read the scriptures and eat on a lesson, my mood, I, I'm back, I'm back good. You know, no matter what type of hardships I'm going through, I'm back good. It gives me back focused and centered on your how about you, I was shy. And he said right there, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And he has. To each brother and sister that's in this truth, Yahabashai has come to you. And then he said this right here. I'm going to read 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians 5, and I'm going to start at 9. For Yahweh have appointed us to wrath. Salakia, for Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Verse 10, who died for us. See, we know we got somebody coming for us. He died for us. That whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. So all the believers that have passed away, they're going to wake up and be the first fruits. They're going to be with Yahweh Shah. Uh, Lord, when we part of hopefully, we're going to be with Yahweh Shah. And here go uh, verse 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even all, as also ye do. And how do we comfort one another with these words? That's why this word been preserved. So they even need to break the Bible open and start reading. Or if she was blessed, she would meet some man that can read and break it down to her and then make it make sense. And then she'll understand what's going on. And when you understand what's going on, that brings a level of comfort. You know, you're not going to be wilding out because you're not looking for America to be stable. You're not looking for America to, you know, Make you a clean way. You know that America ain't for you. And like Jake said, I already know that. That's why like a lot of you, like me and my uncle was talking. 
Kadar Shahan, like a lot of these these Jakes is side as children, man, two thirds. Cause this is stuff that should have been new. So the Lord had to put it all in their face for them to see who the enemy is. And she hollering, you go for the real enemy. That ain't probably what she was teaching five years ago. She probably telling little Ray Ray, cook that dope. Go, go blast on little John John. Get his dope. You know, she probably saying a whole bunch of little ratchet stuff, man. Now she's seeing who the real enemy is. Now they starting to see the politicians ain't nothing but criminals. That's greedy. Now she see it. I'm like, Psh. and like, I'm like, you waking up this late, it's too late. Cause she, she ain't got no solution. No, she Hebrew Israelite, so she, she's far behind. She just knows it's a problem. And since she don't know a solution, she's going to try to, like, that go to what, the second address? Chapter 15, she's going to put the power in her hands. And she might go mess up the mayor, you know, or go unalive somebody trying to get some comfort. Jake going to do that too, man. A lot of uh, crime is going up right now because the money is low. Dudes are just like straight messing up chicks for no reason. That's some spirits created for vengeance, man. Like it's about to get real, real bad out here. I want to go, well, let's go back. Let's go to John. What was that? At? I want to get something else too. Yeah, here it go, right here. It tells you right here in John uh, chapter 14, when you read verse 25, and he says, These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Verse 26, but the comforter, which is the Rahakadash, or Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I said unto you. And that's what happened to all of us in this truth, brothers and sisters, the comforter which the Holy Ghost, Raha Kadash, and Paleo Hebrew, has come to us. Through what? Through this word. These scriptures are preserved for that very reason. To bring us comfort. To know about the good things that's about to happen to us. To know that Babylon the Great is about to be destroyed. To know that the kingdom of heaven, which is made for us, is about to come online. That's a great thing. That brings comfort in itself. You're like, okay, go ahead and get out the way, America, so I can get what, you know, I deserve. No, no, Esau shouldn't be running nothing. And see, it brings all things to your remembrance. What are we supposed to remember? You a Hebrew Israelite. They say she should be learning about herself. She should be learning about the lost commandments. You know, all Israelites should be learning about themselves. Right now, we're in a grace period to learn and know Yahweh Bashi Shah, which he preserved right here in our word. So that's what we should be doing with any time, free time we got. Read some scriptures. Get some wisdom not understanding, man. What, what does our Lord like? What he don't like? He tells you that in the law. You know, you read like Leviticus, Exodus, Numbers. The Lord tell you what he like and what he don't like. You need to know him because he's coming back. He's coming back to his son, Yahweh Shah. And he's, he's like, you need to be right. You need to have your wedding garment on. You need to have some oil in your lamp. You know, which means to have faith. And we need to be ready for his coming. Cleaning our act up. That's what we should be doing. Forsaking this place. And then you won't, when you're not attached to this place, you don't have all them feelings she had, all them emotions and, and crying and mad. Like this thing, it, it puts you in your right mindset. You'll be squared. You know, you'll be relaxed. You'll be calm. Why? Because Yahweh already got the victory for us. So all we got to do is do what we need to do, which is learn, get this wisdom out of the standing, pray for the Holy Ghost or the Rock of Dash to come to you so you can get more of it. The more you get, the stronger you're going to be. That's why that word edify, it goes into building up. These lessons are to build you up. And as you get built up, it brings comfort. I guarantee you, I got a lot of comfort, you know, from these scriptures. Like I'm not out here all in a messed up mood and, and you know, I, I, I look, I have great things coming to me, Lord willing. Part of the whole flat, I have great things coming to me. So this place, it has to go down. It's not going to be an easy go down either. Like we know it's going to be sorrows coming. It's going to be death coming. We're building ourselves up that way we can deal with it. Because a lot of our family ain't going to make it. You got to be strong enough to, you know, carry on. Because the Lord about to do a purge. 
That's what that Jacob's Trouble is all about. And see, I'm going to go to something else. We'll leave off with that with a classic. Let's go to Isaiah 33 and 6. Because that, that, she don't have no stability, you know. And that's that's why she was bugging out. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So we already got a treasure, man. Fearing the Lord put us in this truth. We were searching for the Lord. We feared the Lord. We feared the Lord already. See, Jake, two-thirds, they don't fear the Lord. So the Lord like, okay, I I'm going to put it all in your face. I'm going to rev up Esau and have him, you know, put them things on you. Take that food away. But then you fear the Lord. So everybody going to fear the Lord. You know, we just, we're great because we're doing it now while the grace period is here. And we're getting wisdom and knowledge, which is giving us stability at this time because we know what's going on. We're not in no bugged out state. We ain't, we ain't even lost no more. Once you get in this truth, you're not a lost sheep anymore. So we're not lost to nothing. We already know Esau's. You stay in this truth and you watch out the less, you're going to know Esau moves. You're going to know what's going on. This is like better than uh, watching the news. You know everything Esau about to do. His brothers be on it, man. Like good watchmen. We be all over it. So you'll be like, okay, these things have to happen in order for my kingdom to come online. So then with knowing that, it brings comfort because you got something coming. Two-third Jakes, they think this is all it is. Everything Esau provided, that's all they're gonna get. And this stuff is nothing, man. That's what I say. This 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 truth is the strength of our salvation because it's gonna keep us strong in the most important part, which is our mind. Your spirit and your mind need to be strong. So that has to be built up through these lessons, these video epistles. That has to be built up. So when the real test come, the hour of temptation when that devil, you know. Presenting everybody with that micro CHIP, we can confidently tell that devil, hell no, I don't want that. I'll make it on my own. And, and run from that devil, flee from him. And Lord willing, we can get away from that devil because they're going to have their militaries out. I said, she doing all this bitching and crying and going crazy. I'm like, e -E -E, ain't no MRAPs just hit the block yet. <laughs> ain't no UN troops out there yet. The famine ain't just hit like that yet. It's coming though. So if you cracking up right now, what you going to do when this stuff really hit? Man, she going to lose it, man. That chick going to do whatever she can to get that micro CHIP. To get any little comfort. A little cricket patty. She probably going to turn on people. That's why you want to be around the two-thirds. They're going to turn on us. Tell on us. They'll do anything. Like Esau is their master. That's who they go to for comfort. And they would do anything this devil tell them to do in order to get that little bit of comfort that they can get. Esau's not our master. Our master is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's who gives us comfort. We looking for Esau to get the hell up out the way. You in the way of righteousness. And we pray for your downfall every day. So the downfall of Babylon Great America, it... It brings us comfort, <laughs> you know. That excites me when I see prophecy folding out. And Babylon the Great, you know, going down. I heard it's going. Like I said, the, the whole attitude is different versus somebody in the truth and somebody that's not in the truth. She see those things, she going to flip out. I see those things, I'm going to get excited. Get up here and do a lesson for y'all. I'm going to get excited. Like, yes, it's coming down quickly, you know. We, we get joy in the downfall of our enemies. And Esau's kingdom is it, done, man. There's it, nothing he can do about it. Only thing I see these devils doing now, they got to come with the sword. There's nothing they can do. They can't build this up. This place is done. <laughs> Finished. So now he trying to put the legislation. He about to come with that sword, man, and try to genocide the children of Israel. Because we're the reason why his kingdom is not going to stand. And then you got brothers in this truth. You know, you got brothers out here, you know, highway and hedges boldly declaring that. Shit, he ain't happy about that. So Esau and two-third Jakes are not happy right now. They have no comfort because Babylon the Great is on her way out the door. And that is great news to us in this truth. That brings us comfort. We have comfort. We're good.
That's the power of Yahabasha already on display before, you know, it just comes like full manifestation. Because we're comforted, just like Scripture said. I'm at ease. Because I'm at ease. My children at ease. We good. You know, Lord willing, the Lord keeps and preserves us like that. You know, Lord willing. So with that, man, I hope this has been edifying. I hope it's been comforting. <laughs> hope it brought you some comfort. Because, hey, baby, we, we got the kingdom. Kingdom coming. We good. You know, stay in this truth. I want to say, Quam Yashar Allah. Hey, stay locked in because your house is quickly on the way. And that right there is comfort, baby. We got a savior coming to get us. We got somebody that loves and cares about us that's coming to get us. Lord willing. That right there is very comforting. So with that, baby, shalom.